another beautiful day in Colorado Springs and I'm here with my uh, beautiful daughter Melissa and uh, we're going to demonstrate the uh, machine guns that I got uh, Tuesday so uh, let's get it on we're doing this before we open up so this way uh, we don't danger any customers okay Melissa let's uh, tell them what we have here all right um so we got in a lot of new uh, Pilatos this week, so what better to shoot pumpkins than with Pilatos? Uh, we are going to be doing our pumpkin shoot, so you know if you want to run out of Pilato and shoot it, you definitely can. Um, the first one that I wanted to show you guys is um, this one's a CQC. This one's a Scar uh, Light, so this is a 16S uh, civilian version. Um, it's got a lot of great features on it, and uh, yeah, let's shoot it off. So. Uh, it actually shoots uh, 625 rounds per minute, shoots 55 grain bullet, and um, it's actually only weighs seven and a quarter pounds, so. Okay, it. over here we got this SCAR 17, and this is the 308 version, and uh, which the military is uh, using, and uh, we're gonna demonstrate that. And if you notice, we have uh, Tannerite on the pumpkins over there. And uh, in fact, the end of this month, we have my annual pumpkin shoot. And uh, if you guys want to come out and blow up a pumpkin, it's a lot of fun, as you're going to see. Okay, Melissa, we'll shoot these two? All right. Okay. We ready? Okay, here we go. Yahoo! Yahoo! Man, look at the hole it just blew in that pumpkin. Boy, right, that's pretty cool. There's nothing like shooting a fully automatic weapon first thing in the morning. Really gets me going. Better than 10 times of coffee. Yeah. Right, Melissa? How do that's you feel? Right. I feel pretty good. Yeah, um, yeah all we're right. in a good mood. Melissa's got the best job in the world. I do. I can't believe I get paid for this. Yeah, I can't believe I pay her to do this. <laughs> Uh, the second one that I'm going to shoot is the CQC. It stands for close combat, close quarter combat. Um, the only difference from the Scarlight in this one is that it has a 10 inch barrel. So it's really built for more uh, short range shooting. Let's go ahead and shoot this one off. I'll put my ears in and then we'll move on to the PS90. Okay, guys, what do you think so far? Are you having fun yet? Well, we are. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, Melissa, let's light it up. Pumpkins. <laughs> All right, moving okay. down the line, uh, I think the uh, most unique gun that we got in was the PS90 this week. Um, personally, I've actually never had the desire to shoot this um, until we got it in, but now that we have it in, it's actually really interesting. So the um, most interesting part about it is probably the magazine. It actually feeds from the bottom, from the top down. Um, when you um, put in the uh, cartridges, they actually start vertical, and then they invert horizontal, they'll load the belly of the magazine. So um, it also has a two-stage st two trigger, so you have to depress it lightly for it to be semi-automatic and then fully depress it for it to be full auto. The magazine basically goes in like this, make sure it's fully popped in. The uh, trigger, or the um, charging handle is right here. So that brings one into the chamber. Put my ears on. All right, ready? See if I can hit this pumpkin. <laughs> That's a Star Wars gun. That is a lot of fun. Yeah, pretty cool. I didn't cool. get the pumpkin, but I still have a smile on my face. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we have two of those that came in. Six machine guns came in uh, Tuesday morning, and this is really the first time we're shooting them. Okay, you guys probably want to see this work. This is the uh, 3006. BAR, made and designed in 1917 for World War I and used right through World War II and Vietnam. It's a 7.62, uh, 63 millimeter bullet. Actually goes, uh, let's see, 2,500 feet per second and it's a 180 grain bullet. Okay, so uh, let's uh, put the magazine in there. And these shoot with an open bolt. Yeah, check out this gun. This is like excellent condition, not even like a scratch on it. It looks like it's been put away for like 75 years. This gun is 80 years old. Okay, and we're going to cock it. 
See, it shoots with an open bolt. Got to make sure the magazine's up there. And uh, see that pumpkin over there? That pumpkin doesn't stand a chance. Pretty heavy too. Got a real. Got to be a real man to shoot something like this. Okay, here we go. Ha ha ha! One dead pumpkin. I'll tell you, I'm pretty good with these machine guns. You need a lot of practice if you're going to hit something with a machine gun. It's uh, pretty hard because uh, they always go up in the air when you pull the trigger. Got to get used to it. Okay, guys. So anyway, <clears throat> everything works great. I'm very happy um, and uh, very proud of my daughter, Melissa. She could really handle a firearm. All right. So when is your pumpkin shoot? Okay. It's going to be uh, the last weekend of uh, October. But we're really going to start probably two weekends. We'll have the pumpkin shoot before uh, Halloween. So uh, keep in touch. You come out with your family. Uh, you buy a pumpkin, a little extra money. You get Tanner right on there. And uh, you come out here and you'll definitely guaranteed get a bang out of it. Fun for the whole family. That's right. Okay, guys. You guys have a great day. I got to open up and uh, get back to work. Have a great day. Bye, guys.